how to add a wishlist into your Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add a wishlist within your Shopify store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now the process is very simple and very easy. So I'm going to keep it straight to the point. So first things first, what you're going to do is log into your Shopify account, come over here into your admin and just simply go to applications over here. And over here, just simply search for wishlist. Over here, we're going to find all of the applications that we need to get started. So over here, as you can see, we have a bunch of different options and we have a lot of different applications. So you can use either one of them. They all work pretty well. But the one that we're going to be using is this one right here, Wishlist Plus by Swim Corporations. It's pretty amazing. They also have a free plan available for you. So let's go ahead and add this application to our store and it basically shows us how they it's going to look like so i'm going to show you how it looks like pretty easy in a little bit so i'm going to go ahead and install the application right here it's going to redirect us to swim apps over here to the applications dashboard and they're going to ask us how you want to proceed so automatically our store has been you know set up they're going to ask us what is your name what is your email address and all of the questions so i'm going to go ahead and fill it out so once we have done that, this is how it looks like. And over here, they're basically telling us what we want. So if you want more features, you can check it out and, you know, figure out a plan for yourself. But if you want to go with the free plan, just simply click over here. No, thanks. I'd like to install the free version. So we're going to do that and install the free version over here onto our store. And over here, it's going to ask us what type of button do we want, right? So how should the launch point be exposed on your site as a floating button right here, as you can see or as a menu over here or add to your header over here as well it all depends on you how you want it so over here they basically ask us where we want to position it as well if we choose it as a floating button but i think that as a menu button it looks pretty nice we can even add it to the header a lot of people do that as well but it all depends on you i think the header one looks much more cleaner and simpler so we're going to do that and click on next and then over here they're basically going to ask us what type of button do you want so over here with the heart add to wish list or this one or a simple text or what do we want right so i think this one looks good and then we can also change the color of it as well depending upon the color of your site i think that a light blue version looks good and then over here pick a color of the button slash icon tray so over here we can pick that out as well so i'm going to choose the exact same color as well over here and i'm gonna paste it over here yeah that looks good and then we have labels as well social counts as well if you want that and you can even add change it to whatever you want you know you can call it a bucket wish list or whatever but i think this looks good then we just simply click on one more step and over here we add in our details and all of that so this is how it looks like then over here you from name to email so basically these are email details don't worry if you don't have this information handy you can skip this test as well so next you just upload your store's logo as well if you have that but yeah once that's done just simply click on finish and you should be good to go all right so let's go ahead and check it out so if i open up my store right here and let's say we open up this product over here we should have it there you go so as you can see add to wish list right over here and if you want to change its position to anywhere else you just go into the customization of your website you edit the website and you can position it wherever you want so pretty simple that's how you do it that's how you add a wish list to your shopify store so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye